In today's video, we're going to be painting up some kobolds from the Dungeons and Dragons Wiz Kids range. Okay, so starting off the video here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some cavalry brown for the kobold skin here, which is a nice reddish brown color, which is very close to the canon appearance of uh, kobolds in Dungeons and Dragons uh, monster manual. So this is going to be a nice color here for picking out these. Now I am just painting up this. Uh, one cobalt here in the pack. You get a pack of three of them in the Dungeons and Dragons uh, WizKid set. But I'm just going to be painting up this one, but you can easily apply all the color and techniques that I'm using here onto all three miniatures. And I'll be showing you at the end all three miniatures complete. I'm just doing this one here for uh, ease. So there'll be no real crossover in colors uh, between them because we'll be using the same colors just in different places on all three miniatures. So with that, just making sure that we give a good overall coat here onto our skin of our kobolds, really covering up all those areas, especially since there's a lot of little details of like spiky up uh, scales on the miniature, so just don't forget to cover it everywhere as much as you can. Okay, so now we have that painted up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming in now with some charred brown from Vallejo, and we're going to be using the charred brown to just be doing his uh, little cloth that he has uh, just here on his uh, skirt dress sort of thing. Uh, we want to go here with a nice dark charred brown so it's got that really dark leather. And what I'm going to be doing is just being really careful to not paint over anywhere that we've already painted before. So just coming in with a really steady hand as much as I can here. He also has a little bit of uh, fur pelt or something there on the front of his uh, clothing. So just being careful to avoid that as well. Okay, so now that we have the main part of his dress painted up, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be moving on with the monster brown. I'm going to be using the monster brown to be painting up all the leather armored areas of our kobold. So just here he has some uh, little gauntlet on, he has some uh, straps across his body, a little shoulder pad. So we want to make sure we cover all of them up nice and evenly with a monster brown. Just being careful to avoid the areas that were painted, but remember if you do, it's not a big deal. You can just wait for it to dry and then paint it over with the original color. That's a good thing about the base coloring step is if we make any mistakes, it's nice and easy to tidy it up. Okay, so now we have all the leather done. We're going to come in now with some skeleton bone. I'm going to be using this on this part that I said before that he has this little uh, bit of fur on him there. So I'm just going to be making it it's a, a, a light uh, colored fur animal that he's uh, butchered just recently and he's using that for his uh, covering there. So he's just made that into a nice bit of armor to add a bit of color to the piece. Now you can choose uh, any color you want here, but I'm going with uh, skeleton bone because I want that nice uh, bright color against the dark charred brown that we have on there already. Okay, so now that we have that complete, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be moving on with a uniform gray. And we're gonna be using uniform gray to just be painting up the base that the kobold is standing on here. So he's standing on a stony surface, what I'm going for, rather than uh, a dark cave floor or some brown ground because um, I feel like the the gray is going to really uh, lift up the color and probably draw a lot more focus towards all the reds and the browns that we already have on our miniature and just really frame our nice cobalt there on top okay so now we've done that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving on with gunmetal now and we're going to be using gunmetal to be painting up the weaponry of our cobalt here so this one has a nice uh big like scimitar like sword on him so we want to paint that up uh, some of the other kobolds have some uh, other weapons on there one has a bow and the other one has a spear so just uh, be wary where you want to place this metal on these miniatures so just giving it a nice coat here just trying to avoid the areas we've already painted over beforehand okay so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving on some black from Vallejo I'm going to be using this black to be painting up the nose of our kobold here because um, cobalts have uh, quite big black noses here, so we're just grabbing a real fine tip brush and just getting catching it on the edge of the miniature there where the, the, has the nose sculpted in. We're also going to be using this black to be painting in all the claws and uh, foot claws on the miniature. Just So we have uh, these nice dark claws, I think, are going to pop out really good being in all the black. So just make sure you get all of them over the cobalt there. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming in with some skeleton bone. And we're going to be using the skeleton bone to be painting in some teeth onto our cobalt. So we're just going to be grabbing a nice fine tip brush with a little bit of paint on and just doing small little strokes across 
the main part of the mouth there, just indicating in some cobalt teeth. Now there are very, very fine uh, cobalt teeth sculpted into this. It's very hard to see. You can see my camera struggling to focus on this here. But just spending some time making sure there's a nice fine tip on your brush and just slowly giving little strokes to make little teeth. It's just a cool little added detail that we want to bring this miniature up to the next step. Okay, so once our teeth are dry, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be coming in with some mummy robes. So we're going to be doing some more fine detail work again, so make sure you have your fine tip brush ready. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting in some eyes for the cobalt. I'm giving them nice bright white eyes. So again, what I usually do with uh, eyes when it comes to painting miniatures is I grab a fine tip brush, I dab some on. Uh, trying to get it into the shape of the eye I roughly want and it's usually too big so then what I do is I wait for it to dry and I come in with my original color in this case our cavalry brown and we just tidy up the shape of the eye at the end okay so once we have the eyes complete what we're going to be doing is we're coming in with some red tone from army painter and we'll be using the red tone to give a wash over our cobalt skin and what this is going to do is really going to deepen and draw out that red color in the cavalry brown so we're going to be leaning more towards the red than the brown of this color. And it's going to match in a lot more with what a Cobalt's color is in the Dungeons & Dragons Monster Manual, which is what I'm trying to go for here. And the red tone is going to really bring out that in uh, all of this too. So just also trying to avoid getting it ev on everything else, because we don't want to have um, a leather armor and our clothing of our Cobalt all um, slightly tinted red. So we just want to focus on the skin. And when it comes to the teeth and the eyes here, if I get a little bit on there, all I do is I quickly come back in with a dry brush and just pick out those parts where I've accidentally gone over. And it usually dries it up pretty close to straight away. Okay, so once our red tone is all dried and complete, what we're going to be doing is we're coming in with some Agrax Earthshade. And we're going to be using Agrax Earthshade to be covering over all of our armor of the miniature and you see cameras nearly falling over here so <laughs> got to be careful of that happening while i'm trying to reach for my pot of uh, agrax earthshade as you can see here i'm not sure if i lost that footage or not so i quickly showed it again um so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering over all of our armor and the base that we did in the uniform gray so just making sure that we come in here and try and avoid getting it over the areas that we just done in the red tone because we want to keep them separate and that's what these washes are going to do good at is separating out the colors here um, in these final steps um, from being too similar which is what I find I was doing when I was uh, painting things up and then giving them a wash if I give them one wash overall it would look very samey and you wouldn't uh, have that nice pop of color between the two so that's why we've gone with the red wash for our skin tone and our agrax earth shade for all our leather color and our ground coverage of course okay so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming in with some known oil here uh, which is a nice black wash and i really like it for uh, painting over top of I should say painting applying over uh, metal areas it just gives a nice color uh, to all the metal when it's all nice and dark and rugged like that I, I really love it that's generally what i do with my uh, metal is apply some known oil too because i just like the color um, that it gives off at the end touch so just don't forget to do this step We have finished painting up our kobolds from the Dungeons and Dragons WizKid set. And you can see that with just some uh, simple colors here, we've got some nice effective kobolds that look very similar to the ones that do they do sorry in the official Dungeons and Dragons artwork. So that's what I was going for here. And you can see that it was just a relatively simple job and they all look cohesive with all the colors was used. And you can see that I've just applied them in uh, different varying uh, ways to this uh, 
basically uh, same sort of miniature while having them all tied together. So it's a nice way here. You may want to switch out the colors a little bit, but I want them as a nice cohesive sort of unit. And that's what I was trying to go there. And I, I think I've done a pretty good job of that. And with that, I hope you've enjoyed watching me paint up these kobolds, whether you just uh, want to watch me paint up some minis that you enjoy or you uh, want to follow along yourself. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.